As you enter the town of Mill Valley, you are greeted by rows upon rows of mid-sized suburban houses framed in the foreground of Mount Tamalpais. Near the center of town lies Tamalpais High School, our life between 8 and 3, Monday through Friday. Life at Tam is busy. A school of 1,200, Tam is not the closest-knit community. Students are divided in their interests, and a lack of school spirit is a common complaint. Mill Valley epitomizes the Marin bubble, the idea that our county is a sheltered mecca for affluent Caucasians with snobby, spoiled kids. And you can be as friendly as you want to be. Driving north on 101, the suburban landscape changes to one of rolling hills and sweeping pastures. One, two, three. By the time you reach the Tamales border, the bubble has been popped. The town of Tamales... Uh, yeah. There's one street, there is like a general store. Like deli and then a... a town hall, a restaurant, and a park. That's pretty much the town of Tamales. If you drive not even a mile, you are out of the town of Tamales. Walking through the town of Tamales, Friendly smiles from the bar attracted our attention. Bar owner Marcus Perez invited us to enjoy the William Tell Restaurant's oysters. He spoke to us about the history of his small town. There was a horrendous fire in 1920 uh, in Tamales. It burned the whole town, uh, town. The only thing that survived was the high school. So this basically completely burned down. So the building that you see here right now is 1920. I you lived in Tamales for about you know, like seven years on my grandpa's ranch. And I went to Tamales because it was kind of like the school to go to and all my friends were going there. People that come to Tamales, we have some kids that come from like Casa Grande High School that like couldn't make it there. Most of them come from just all around Tamales Bay, like Point Reyes and Inverness and like the Point. I mean, we have a very large district as far as um, for then LA Unified. We wow. just don't have the student population. As you approach the school, the isolation and size become immediately apparent. Surrounding the campus lie cow pastures as far as the eye can see. Almost as big as the entire school itself is the football field, which sits adjacent complete with grandstand and lights. The town is totally revolved around Tamales. Like when there's a sports game or everything, everything's revolved around the school. Everyone's at the games. And the booster club's really rich because they get like nice stuff and they get like lights and it's a really nice football stadium. We have like a welding shop and everyone works on their truck. Uh, my favorite class was agricultural biology because like we learned about how to do stuff with animals. My favorite class would probably have to be like FFA class. FFA is like Future Farmers of America and it's like an organization here and it's like super involved where we learn like agriculture skills and like how we can like better the agriculture community. As far as FFA itself, it's, you know, this is, this chapter has been here since 1929, so it's been around for a long time. And um, this is our uh, 85th year. Lack of familiarity with a group of people leads to assumptions and stereotypes. Both Tam and Tamala students look at each other in an often inaccurate light that leads to misconceptions. We wanted to find out what Tam students' perception of Tamalas was. What words do you associate with tamales? Small schools. Hick. Hicks. Cows and pastures. Farms. Mexicans. Small and Washers. Cows. Farm people? Um, the personality difference for me, I think Marin was kind of just more laid back and like relaxed. And small people, like there's more like upbeat kind of like in your face about things. Like there's more like, they're like really like aggressive. If someone gets offended, like you, they're like in your face and they're like, I have no problem like telling you how it is. Like, I have like girl fights all the time. They're like, oh, you should just go like beat up that girl. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna go just beat up that random girl. Like, that is like not me. They don't let anything slide. Everything is personal here. Everything's taken like, they want to like put you down. Like, it's so bad. Like most people think that you guys would think we're kind of like just like ranch kids, kind of hicks. Like, a lot of people that come to our football camp talk like shit about that. You walk into our school, you'll see big diesel trucks, like guys that walk up, like they can like hurt you really bad. Like 
like that is small as people like bicker and stuff about whose truck is better. All they bring up is their trucks, their work. They bring up their work like, oh, I work so much harder than you. I sit in a tractor all day. My job's so strenuous. I haul cows, like it's crazy. Despite their popularity, trucks are not the only form of entertainment at Tamales. So we have like our typical like stoner crowd, I guess you can say, like bunch of pot. A lot of the country kids are just like, oh no, I never do that, I never do that. And at a party, you're like, oh, here, want some? They're like, yeah, like, I'll try it, sure. A bunch of alcohol, like a bunch of alcohol here. Like, there's people doing, like, people make their own moonshine. Like, oh, come try my moonshine. Just like, oh, just get messed up off moonshine. Social life at Tamales is the same and yet vastly different from the social life at Tam. Even though we do many of the same activities, we do them quite differently. One party I got to, I got there and I heard chicken squawking. A person cut the head off a chicken and roasted a chicken because they were hungry. Plucked it, gutted it, everything. Parties get pretty intense. Clearly some of the stereotypes ring true, but many misconceptions about both Tam and Tamala students are clearly present because of a lack of exposure. Like most of them haven't even been in a lot of parts of Marin. They kind of just stay in Sonoma most of the time. Like everyone's like, oh, we're not that country. Coming from St. Rita, it's like, I definitely know, like, this is the country. Despite its proximity to Tam, Tamales demonstrates the diversity of lifestyles in Marin. By getting to know teenagers from a different background, we are able to expand the thoughts we have about the community we know so well.